Good morning. It is my pleasure to present Joshua L. Golden, who has graduated with an associate in arts degree in general transfer studies. Like many of our students, Joshua balances school with work. He has three part-time jobs. Additionally, Joshua is the regional vice president for Phi Beta Kappa, a writer for our campus newspaper, and serves as a peer tutor in the Campus Science and Math Center. He also volunteers at YMCA, where he developed and facilitates a teen club for inner city youth. Joshua plans to attend Washington University, where he hopes to study political science and psychology. I am proud to present the student speaker from the Forest Valley campus, Joshua L. a wonderful event. A good teacher once, in order to show her students that they could be whatever they desire, asked her students a series of questions. She first asked them, what's two plus two? And the students, being excited because they knew the answer, shouted four, two plus two is four. The teacher nodded and said good. She then asked them, well, what's seven minus three? And the students, again, excited because they knew the answer, shouted four. Seven minus three is four. The teacher nodded again. She then asked him, well, what's the square root of 16? And all the students responded with four. After the excitement in the classroom slightly subsided, the teacher looked directly at the students and said, four can be so many things at once. Why can't you? While this teacher was speaking to young students, the teacher's philosophy reflects a profound truth. A truth that the things in our world perform many different functions. That things aren't only significant in one regard. That something can be this and that at the same time. Indeed, there are few other occasions more supportive of this truth than today. For while we stand here as graduates, while we stand on the cusp where the characteristics we saw as students have become characteristics we embody as graduates, we also stand on the verge of a new beginning, a new path ahead where the decisions we make will shape the destiny we inherit. Us being here today shows that we can make the right decisions. It shows that we can interact with reality to bring about the world that we want to see. Let us never forget that we have that power, just as we never forget that we have the responsibility to use that power. And so, as I look over our student body today, I see not just bright faces in suits and gowns, but I see answers to the world's future problems. I see minds equipped to lead. I see passions burning inside that once unleashed will do for the future generation what the previous generation did for us, and that is make life awesome. Congratulations, grads of 2011. We've come this far by loving and supportive families. We've come this far by awesome and diligent teachers and administrators. And we've come this far by faith. I certainly want to thank my family for their wonderful support of me, my mom for her prayers, for her unconditional love of me, even when my behavior at times was unlovable. <laughs> to my dad for his priceless wisdom that he has imparted to me. For my brother for working so hard for me to be here. My brother Anton waking up at 3 a.m. every morning just so that my sister and I could finish school. I love you. To my younger siblings, Elegance and Nomi, I love them dearly. I honestly could not have asked God for better siblings. It has been said that no one knows what the future holds, that no one knows what it will look like. But today, grads, let's reject that notion. For as we look at those next years, as we look at those in front of us and at those behind us, as I look at all of you and as all of you look at me, 
we see the future. Because we are the future. The future rests in us. Let us shake it intentionally, and let us shake it wisely. Thank you, and congratulations.